memories. Tell me, 40 years ago. 1967, I had just finished my sophomore year at Westchester State College preparing to be a teacher. And of course, everybody was focused on what was going to happen in Glassboro. It was also a teacher's college, lots of things going on. Uh, little did I know that when I was watching television, I lived in suburban Philadelphia at the time, and little did I know watching on television what was going to happen, the path my journey would take that would connect me uh, ultimately to Glassboro State College, the summit. In 1992, I had the privilege of going to Ukraine one year after independence, former Soviet state. Having grown up with the idea that there were axes of evil surrounding us, the Vietnam conflict for my generation, the Cold War, the evil Soviets, those athletes with CCCP, which really turned out to be SSSAR once I knew the language. Not knowing what I was going to find, I went for three months as an exchange teacher. About all I could say at the time was Dobry Din, Minyazavud Dana Jorgensen, Ya Amerikanskaya Uchitomitsa, which is hello, and my name is Donna Jorgensen, and I'm an American teacher. So as you as you look back on '67, so so there was a, there was about 25 years between that time. What impact did that have on you over those? next 25 years and now as we look another another 15. In the first 25 years I would say the impact was probably much like the rest of my generation. We'd been taught that the Soviet Union was out to get us, we'd been taught that communism was evil. Uh, none of us probably had any sense that we would ever visit the Soviet Union, that any American would ever be welcome in a Soviet nation. We couldn't believe that the Soviet Union would fall, that there would become democratic nations. And so over that period of time, I taught Russian literature in my classes when I was teaching high school English. I had, I had a number of things going on there, but I was fortunate to live in a small town with a sister cities program. And we were linked with this very small town in Ukraine and the earliest exchanges were teacher exchanges and it was all about education and I think what happened here in Glassboro was the beginning of education and learning about a people that we'd been taught to, to be afraid of and it was it was the beginning of an understanding that conflict will exist in the world regardless of what we do but as Johnson and Kosygin both said, uh, reasonable men can speak reasonably to each other. And even though no monumental agreements or documents came out of the summit, uh, I believe it was, for me, it was the first step in saying there's a connection here. Teachers College, I was in Teachers College, I became a teacher, and I ultimately ended up being an exchange teacher in the Soviet country uh, where one of the first questions people asked was about the history of the American presidency and they were very very interested and ultimately I came to teach at Rowan and so the journey cycled through I taught public school for 27 years I met the teachers from Ukraine and I went to Ukraine I brought those teachers here. I had two of them as guests in my home in Glassboro, and other than going to classes with me, the first thing they wanted to do was to see Holly Bush. That's what I was going to ask you. As you look at Holly Bush today, what goes through your mind? When I was a first-year faculty member almost eight years ago, our new faculty reception was held here. I sat in the chairs in the summit room. I spent most of my evening just letting it wash over me in the summit room. Uh, I am a personal friend of Ben Martin, the photographer who took the Life magazine photo cover. And Ben has stories 
to tell about how he ended up with that particular cover, uh, the, the interpreters, the, the names of friends who were in the press corps. Uh, in fact, he's going to lend us some prints and some anecdotes for the College of Education to put on display. My feelings were, I was saddened when uh, Victoria and Yelena were here that we couldn't get into Hollybush that I couldn't show them. Took them to the library, showed them the single showcase where the few artifacts were displayed while Holly Bush was undergoing renovation. Um, they wanted their picture in front of that building with the sign. They, they wanted their students to know that they had been not only to America, but to a place that was a connection, that was a, a significant piece and so every time I drive past here, A, I want to live in this house. Uh, I, I want to soak in the artifacts. I, I, want, I want them in my hands. I want to read every word. I want to spend time just being in the atmosphere that was here because I didn't come across the river from suburban Philadelphia to see, I watched it on television and flipping channels to see whether people had different views. Um, knowing in the pouring rain on Sunday this was still happening. Uh, nearly 11 hours that in fact I believe changed the course of history but certainly charted the course of my personal history. Great. Thank you. Thank you.